Hello guys, welcome back to our channel CSE Concepts with Parinda. Guys, in today's video we are going to learn one very important topic of compiler design that is three address code. Uh, we have almost covered all the important topics of compiler but there are a couple of things that you students wanted to know in more detail. So three address code uh, is one of the topics that many of you students have told me because I also agree that it is very important in exams also sometimes this topic is asked as a 4 mark question or a 6 mark question or even 8 or 10 marks question. So in this video what we will do is we will try to understand what is 3 address code with the help of a standard uh, definition. We will see the general syntax. We have certain examples. I will show you how to convert certain expressions into 3 address code expression. Also, there are main two implementations of three address code, quadruple and triple. We will also try to understand the difference between these two with the help of a standard simple example. Okay. So, in this video, after the end of this video, I hope you will have every clear idea that you need about three address code. So, without any uh, wasting any more time, let's start. What is three address code? So, three address code is the most commonly used type of intermediate code which can be easily converted to machine code. It makes use of at most three operands. So guys, I think uh, you might remember when we were learning about the phases of compiler, right? Uh, what we have seen that any uh, syntax that is given to us, we are converting it into intermediate code. We were having something known as intermediate code generator, right? So, at that time also I have told you that in intermediate code generator, we can um, convert our code into any intermediate code, but one of the most commonly used intermediate code is three address code fine because it is very easy to represent as well as it is very easier to understand too. So, three address code is one of the most commonly used type of intermediate code which can easily be converted into machine code. And why is it known as three address code? Because in this three address code, we are using at most three operands that means you can have only one operand you can have two operands or at max you can have three operands more than three operands are not allowed in case of three address code fine so many students are confused in this also um, whenever we are asking in the viva sometimes they are saying uh, at most three three addresses at most sometimes they are uh, saying it at least three operands but don't confuse it is very clear that three address code can contain maximum or at most three operands okay one is allowed two is allowed or at max three is allowed so the general syntax is shown here a is equal to b operator c so here the operands are three a b and c similarly there will be maximum three operands in three address code clear okay now, uh, the frequently asked questions in terms of your academics, university exams or even in competitive exams, many times they do ask you converting expressions into three address codes. Similar type of expressions they can give any expression that is not in three address code and they will expect you to convert that expression into three address code. Okay, so let's see how we will do it. It is very simple. So first, let's say they have given the example A is equal to B plus C plus D. Now this expression is not in three address code. Why? Because here you can see A, B, C, D, four operands are there, right? Uh, but in three address code, we can have maximum three. So here we have four operands. So we can say that it is not in three address code. So what we need to do is we need to convert this syntax or this expression into three address code now in three address code what we want we want maximum of three operands so generally what we do is we will keep on using temporary variables now i see here the expression is a is equal to b plus c plus d now all this um, in right hand side see for left hand side we will do the assignment at the end but first we will start operating these right hand side expressions so in the right hand side we are having b plus c plus d all are addition so uh, same priority so first we will take left to right so b plus c so first we will add b and c b plus c we will do and we will assign it into any temporary variable t1 
okay so b plus c is stored in t1 now i have to add this t1 with plus d so i have add, i have to add t1 with d so t1 plus d will become my second temporary variable t2 now once i have this whole thing into t2 i just need to assign it into a so a is equal to t2 now this is also in three address code this is also in three address code this is also in three address code why because maximum of three addresses or three operands we have used see here 1 2 3 1 2 3 and here 1 and 2 so maximum of three operands we have to use in every step and we have to convert it into three address code so these three together becomes the three address code expression which is equivalent to this expression got it so this is how you have to break the given expression into three address code similarly this is the second example so uh, a star minus b plus c so here whenever we are having parenthesis so the most priority is given to the parenthesis so first of all we will do b plus c because it is inside parenthesis so we will do b plus c and we will assign it into the temporary variable t1 okay so t1 is equal to b plus c now b plus c is done then we have to u minus it u minus is actually uh, putting minus in front of the expression and this is an unary variable unary operator that means it just needs one operand so t1 is equal to b plus c now uh, in b plus a we have to do minus so t2 is equal to u minus t1 so we got this whole now last t3 is equal to now we have got this whole into t2 so just we need to multiply that t2 with a so a into t2 becomes our t3 so see here what is the difference here at the end we have to made uh, we have made the assignment because in the question the whole expression is inside a a equal to so whatever temporary variable we got here what we we have done at the end we had assigned it into a because we wanted the answer in a so a is equal to t2 we have done but here in this case there is no assignment required because there is no result variable in the question right so t3 is equal to a into t2 and t3 is having our ultimate result we will keep it as it is got it the difference so in question if there is any result variable you have to assign the ultimate temporary variable result into that variable but if there is no result variable then it is fine you can keep the uh, temporary variable as it is got it okay now let's see the next example minus in the parenthesis we are having a star b plus again bracket c plus d so again here we are having parenthesis so we will do this first so t1 is equal to a star b now um Uh, before this expression we have to keep minus so t2 is equal to u minus as i told it is a unary operator so t2 is equal to u minus this whole that is t1 so we got this now i have to do c plus d so t3 is equal to c plus d we got this now ultimately we have to add these two in one more temporary variable so t4 is equal to t2 plus t3 again there is no result variable so we will keep the result as it is inside this temporary variable t4 fine simple now again we are having one more question a plus a star b minus c plus b minus c into d now again here we are having parenthesis and both the parenthesis are same when both uh, like two or more expressions are same we just need to evaluate it only once and the result we can use multiple times okay so b minus c we will do it and uh, we will store it in the temporary variable t1 so t1 is equal to b minus c now 1b minus c we have to multiply with a and 1b minus c we have to multiply with d so t2 is equal to a star t1 now let's swap these two okay i have written uh, mistakenly these two will be swapped so first of all we will multiply a into this t1 and store it into t2 and we will multiply this t1 into d and we will store it into t4 okay now this whole t1 this will be added with a so uh, a uh, this whole this whole is stored in a into b minus c so this is stored in t2 so this t2 will be added with a so we will get this whole expression okay in t3 and uh, ultimately we have to multiply oh, sorry we have to add because here we are having addition so ultimately we have to add this t3 and this t4 okay so t5 equal to t3 plus t4 again there is no result variable so our ultimate result will remain as it is in the temporary variable t5 
no need of any extra assignment okay so this is how you can convert the expressions which are not in three address code with such expressions who uh, with such expressions and all these intermediate expressions should be in three address code and what is the condition of three address code the only condition is maximum of three operands can be used fine so here we have seen four different types of examples where we have converted expressions into three address code now i hope if you get any such expression you will be easily able to convert them into three address code now let's quickly see the two main implementations of three address code that is quadruple and triples these are the two main implementations of three address code now what is the main difference between uh, these two in quadruple it consists of four fields namely op uh, namely operator argument 1 argument 2 and result okay operator arguments and result to store the output fine this op is the operator which will contain all the operators one argument 2 and argument 1 will be there now this argument 1 and argument 2 are nothing but the operands and then ultimately you will be having result and this result will be used to store the output or store the result fine this is quadruple and this is triple the basic difference between quadruple and triple is in quadruple we are having one additional variable to store the output or the result but in triple there is no result or output variable okay so quadruple means as you know four triples means three so in quadruple four means we will be having four main fields that is operator argument 1 argument 2 and result but in triples we are having three main fields that is only operator argument 1 and argument 2 there will not be any specific field for result or output okay and the process is again very simple for example if they give you if they ask you that what is the quadruple representation of this expression so what you need to do in order to make the quadruple representation you have to make a table with four main fields that is as we have already discussed operator argument 1 argument 2 and result now uh, this is one additional column that we have taken for serial number 0 1 2 3 you can take it or not in this it is not compulsion but we are taking it okay so this hash is just the serial number 0 1 2 3 4 5 like that now first of all again we have to see that what we need to do here is a uh, b star minus c plus b star minus c now minus c means uh, we have to do u minus and as i told that this is unary operator the priority of unary operator is more so what we will do first of all we will do u minus c okay because in both the cases i we want minus c minus c okay so u minus Uh, operator inside operator we have to write the operator here the operation that we want to do is u minus so u minus c and let's say we are storing the result into the temporary variable t1 okay now we got minus c now what we need to do we need to do uh, we need to multiply this minus c with b okay multiply this minus c with b so in the next step what we will do the operation is multiplication with whom and whom t1 and b so this t1 result and b and let's say we are storing the multiplication of t1 and b into t2 okay so what happened this is also t2 we got and this is also we got t2 now what we want we want the addition between these two okay see i have cancelled these two step don't see them uh, so now after we got this into t2 and this also in t2 so what we want we want t2 plus t2 we want to add these two okay so operation is plus argument 1 is t2 argument 2 is also t2 and let's say we are storing this addition result in t5 one more uh, temporary variable t5 see these temporary variables you can take any name that is completely okay so t5 now ultimately we got the result in t5 but in the question we want a result variable a so what we will do at the end we i just have to assign the value present in t5 into a so the last step is the operation will be equal to assignment argument 1 is t5 and the result will be equal to uh, a so a equal to t5 at the end we have done the assignment so ultimately this is the quadruple representation where inside this variable a we have kept all this uh, the whole expression okay it is very simple 
this is quadruple representation then if we talk about triples representation again we have to make one table the only difference will be in the triples representation result will not be there okay only serial number operator argument 1 and argument 2 will be there now in this case the serial number is very important because result variable is not there so we will do the operations in the table based on the serial number for example we have taken the serial number again as 0 1 2 3 and so on okay so first of all again the expression is also same a is equal to b star minus c plus b star minus c so first of all we need to do this minus c unary operator so u minus operator is u minus and argument is c so we have got minus c now there is no result variable so c understand this point very importantly that here we don't have any result variable so we can access this minus c using the serial number 0 okay so in the next step what we want in the next step we want to multiply this minus c with this b okay so what we will do operator is multiplication argument 1 is 0th index fine c this is the difference between quadruple and triple because here we were having result variable so we were using this result variable t1 in the next step but here result variable is not there so in the next step we have to use this index itself okay so operator is multiplication we want to multiply this zeroth index with b okay so multiply zeroth index and b so we got this whole thing in first index index one this whole thing and this whole thing now what we need to do we need to add them so the next operator is plus and i want to add this index one with itself so one one so what we got we got this whole expression inside let's say this index four now we just want to assign it into a so equal to a and what we want to assign this this index okay so equal to a four got it so that is the only difference here we will here for the next step in quadruple we will use the result variable but in triples as there is no result variable for the next steps we will use the index itself fine so this is how you can uh, represent quadruple and triple representation of the uh, expression given to you and generally this question is also asked in four or six marks in your exams fine so i hope this whole video about the three address code has uh, cleared all your concepts regarding the three address code and you can now able to answer any question uh, asked in your exams whether it is your college exam or any competitive exams fine still if you have any doubt query concern do ask ask in the comment section i will definitely try to help you out and if you are new here you can check out our whole compiler design playlist and many other subjects playlists available there please subscribe the channel and share it with your friends so that they can also be benefited with the useful tutorials present in the channel thank you so much